Hello and welcome to Wes Round 3 at the Circuit of Sherard near Clement Ferrand in France. The motorsport circuit is located on a UNESCO World Heritage Mountain site and features unique breathtaking views. As always, the weekend starts with the bike checks and a friendly atmosphere, which is always a characteristic of the paddock. Some of the protagonists here, Justine Tonzo and reigning world champion Jerome Gio of La Paire, are the local heroes and the leaders in their respective categories. The return of Matt Lombardi from South Africa. Let's take a look at race track number one. In the morning, the qualification race will decide the starting grid as always. Here we are with the course, clockwise, two and a half kilometers. This one lap trial giving the riders the chance to start in the position they deserve. A chance also to get a look at this course. Reigning champion Nicole Goldie set the fastest time in the women's, whilst in the men's the Raspini Pole Position Award goes to her fellow citizen Joris Reef of Bergstrom. It's a really fast lap but it's kind of dusty and some slippery. Some turns are really slippery and yeah it's a hard race here. Sharad is always a special race for me because last year I got here my first World Cup win and I felt really good and it's so cool to get the win and the pole position. The goal is for sure to try to win and set Chilo, Jerome, Gilou under pressure. We will see. It's a good track for me and I try everything. Let's take a look then at the starting grid and notably Nicole Goldie and Laura Charles in the top 10. Here's the pole setters Joris Reef. and Nicole Goldie. And here's the reigning champion getting ready for the start. Time for the race start, always nervous and a fast move off the start line. Hugo Pajon from Remy Absalon's Scott team takes his third hole shot out of three race starts this year. Justin Tonzo takes the whole shot in the women's field. And Pajon takes the lead ahead of Gio. Meanwhile, Nicole Goldie had an impressive start and managed to maintain the lead. Into the rock garden, Gio overtaking Pajon, but an important moment in the race. Let's take a look at the replay. Gio took a puncture on the lap three in the rock garden. Reef taking advantage of the drama. Fabio Spenia here was specialised, keeping a strong race pace behind. In the lead though, Pajon looking confident. Reef shortening the gap all the time. In the women's race, Nicole Goldie maintaining the lead. Just behind, Tonso in her leader's jersey. In third place, it's Laura Charles of the Miranda factory team. Here's Joao trying to make up after changing that flat tyre. But Pajon still keep going with a solid lead. Reef pushing harder and harder to get close on the last lap. This is Natalie Schneider struggling to catch the top three women this time. But in an elbow to elbow battle for the line, an incredible sprint finish. Reef manages to catch Pajon. What a race for the Swiss. Let's take a look at the replay. A wheelie into the line. Reef visibly happy to win here again at Girard. His favorite circuit. Fabio Spenia finishing his solid race in third. And in the women's race, reigning champion Goldie takes her second win of the season. Tonzo in second for the first time, having almost a full score and one DNF this year. Charles finishing in third. An interesting women's classification, Charles repeating again after her first podium in 2021 here at Sherrard. Yeah, it was a really hard race and I had some battle with the guys, but I like it and in the end it was fine, yeah. Tomorrow it's a little bit hotter than today and yeah, we will see how it works. 
Let's take a look at the classification in the men's race and hear from the winner. Definitely my favorite circuit. I really love the corners, the short climbs. And yeah, I had not the best start. I need to catch up a little bit and overtake some riders. But then when Jerome had a flat tire, I came closer. And the last lap I did really well. I did a smooth race and could catch him just before the finish line and then win in the sprint. Fantastic race by Joris Reef. Here's our women's podium. Nicole Goldie taking the victory. And as always, the celebration with the bubbles. Let's take a look then at the women's standing. Things are starting to get a little bit tight in the classification. Here's our men's podium. Reef back on the first step of the podium after Shirad 2021. Celebration again. Our top three riders in the men's race. Let's take a look at the classification. Joe maintains his lead despite a sixth place today. Let's take a look then at race number two. The track will be raced anti-clockwise this time for seven laps instead of six. The riders warming up and all the media attention before the second race of the weekend. These are the riders at the start of the qualification track reporting that the track looks more demanding today in the opposite direction. But very important to get qualification completed and to try and be as high up in the grid as possible. The pole position award powered by Raspini goes to Goldie and Gio again. It's a really difficult track on this, this way around, but it's the same as yesterday, really dusty and it's really slippery and you have to stay on the line and yeah, it's, it will be an interesting race and it's really hot here. <laughs> the qualification is bien passé. Well, the qualification race was good. I prefer today's track with the more technical turns and climbs. I'm really happy with my qualification, even if I made a little mistake and I'm lost a few seconds. But it's not a big drama for today's race. I hope to do a better race than yesterday when I had that puncture and manage my race more than just have an experience in it. This is what the race two starting grid looks like. Tonso and Charles in the top 10. Pajon was forced to DNS for health reasons. On to the starting grid. Everyone focused as always. Underway and another very, very fast start in these wonderful conditions. Joris Reef right on form. Look at that, he takes the whole shot. Nicole Goldie takes the women's whole shot. Reef leading the race ahead of Gio. A very, very close contest between these two riders. Fabio Spenia in third, a good performance over the weekend. Tonso leading the women's race in the first two laps ahead of Goldie and Schneider. Goldie starting to really move well. Goldie has an impressive pace and getting closer and closer to Tonzo on this third lap. The French rider slowing down a bit. Gio maintaining the lead, but just ominously placed. Reef right behind him. Emmerich Ledzer in fourth, tries his best to catch the top three riders. Here's Goldie widening the gap. Pushing hard to the end of the race. Important to keep hydrated. It's pretty hot today. Tonso, followed by Schneider in third, shortening the gap. Just behind Laura Charles. Just behind the top three for the entire race. But then Schneider overtakes Tonso on lap five. The French rider looking a little bit tired. But in the men's race, Gio goes on to take the win. First here at Sherrard. Reef the winner yesterday, just behind in second place. 
and Goldie taking her first double in the World Cup. Just behind her, followed by her friend Schneider in second. A great atmosphere among the podium finishers. All congratulations, all smiles. Let's take a look at the classification. In the women's race, Nicole Goldie took the win ahead of Natalie Schneider and Justine Tonzo. Let's hear from them now. Yeah, it was a super hard race and it was just about making not too much mistakes. And yeah, it was good for me and I finally did it. It's a long way to go to the next round and the World Championships are in between. So yeah, let's see. Here's the men's classification, Jerome Gio taking his first win at Girard. Let's hear from him now. Well, as I told my mechanic and the team before the race started, I've never won here. Had some advantage in the overall standings, then I really had nothing to lose. My goal was to win no matter what. I had to be very fast. I've been training in enduro, and I'm happy to win here in France for the first time. Widen the gap in the overall standings. Yeah, it makes me feel comfortable for the end of the season coming up. Here's our women's race podium. Nicole Goldie on the top step. Schneider and Tonzo alongside. All celebrations. Goldie now leads the women's standings, as we can see here. Top of the leaderboard by two points, but the gap is very, very tight. Here's our men's podium. Joe Reef and a solid Fabio Spenia. Time for the bubbles. What a shower for the world champion. And Gio maintains his leader's jersey. Here's the standings. A reminder then that the Magneti Morelli Checkstar Power Lap Award goes to Reef and Tonzo, setting the fastest lap in race two. What a great race weekend, full of drama and intense battles. The riders now focus on the World Championships and the World Cup fight will resume on the 3rd to the 4th of September at Spa-Francorchamps in Belgium for the circuit's debut in the series. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.